Finn, the loud mouth for the ACO. And uh, I'll tell you what, Philip Barnett, the Mississippi Ninja, you have seen a lot of cornhole in your day. You've played a lot of cornhole in your day. We have seen some fantastic games, some amazing shots from places we did and did not expect them to come. What do we got going on Absolutely. here? I know we're in a double dip situation that uh, TJ has to double dip Shane if he needs, if he want, if uh, he wants to take this win. But what do you think happens here? Well, I'll tell you what, Shane's already got the one victory over TJ, and in that victory, he built a big lead. He sure did. And then he almost let TD get, TJ get back in there. Let's hope. Let's see if Shane can keep the momentum going, man. Yeah. The last man standing, standing yeah. out of. 500. I can't. I can't say that enough. Yeah, well, he 502 asked you to quit players. Yeah. He asked you to please he, quit he did, it. but I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, that is an amazing feat. Yeah. You know, he, and if he doesn't win here, he has. He, he should be very proud of the way he played. Well, Jed Thomas says, "Get it done." Amber says, "Let's go. Go figure it out." Yeah. Oh, and TJ just gave it back to Shane right there, and Shane couldn't finish. And I don't know who Shane's talking to on that pole, but yeah. I'm glad I, I'm glad it wasn't me. Yeah. Well, you're not getting the look over that you get from Craig and a handful of others. Yeah. Typically, but they'll they'll turn their head towards you. But four yeah. on two, Shane. Half of Miller at this point. TJ runs out of the higher seed blue lane, although Shane sits in the king seat. So, again, if you're uh, trying to figure out what that means, all that means is. TJ's got to beat him twice to take it. If Shane wins this one, he is the singles champion here in uh -huh. Owensboro. He goes up top, skips one off the back. Big push here by Shane. Let's see if he can get it. There it is. And TJ's going to take chances now. If TJ's making them, he is one tough joker. Mm -hmm. But he can have misses just like he did just then. No, and you saw him earlier. Oh, oh boy, wow. that was a rough break right there that uh, they both didn't collapse into the hole. But... You know, you saw TJ earlier fire a uh, an airmail that ran just a little long, but yeah. it was like he was measuring his own shot because then the next what two or was it all three dead followed, center? Bam, bam, Absolutely. Bam. So if he gets that uh, if he gets that going, he's going to put Shane and Shane's got that game as well. He's going to put him to the test on that one. But we'll continue to keep an eye on things here, and you can keep an eye on things here. And uh, glad to have you back, and glad to have us back. Real happy to be able to finish the weekend. Yeah, really this way and thanks again to the entire staff and crew here who are w awaiting our wrap up here they've Absolutely. been very patient with us and they've been great the entire weekend but uh, just stacking them up he just kind of shrugged a little bit and said oh, oh and what there's it is. another missed the air mail mm -hmm. gives him a little left to right opportunity coming in and he takes nice it nice bag yes done. sir and look at TJ. Oh, look at He's that. not scared to shoot that yeah. air mail anytime there was, was no room there playing aggressively yeah and he is Absolutely fearless. So three more for Shane. Shane picks it up, takes three, takes six on four. And yes, Rob, it is past my bedtime, but not, <laughs> but not on major weekends. <laughs> uh, no, it's good. Good stuff. I think that might have been an old joke there. I'm going to start writing that down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better start keep, well, that's the <laughs> keep thing. Keep a log of that. You have to start writing down jokes at your expense. That's that kind right. of proves the point <laughs> of what he was saying. All right, so these guys just continue to fire six on four. Fretwell over Miller. Shane's just got to win this one. Shane Fretwell. In nice the bag, nice, Shane. Nicely done there. I think that puts him back into a little yeah. bit of confidence spot right there. I'll tell you what, when we, we started this weekend – with the 502 players, these two guys mm -hmm. probably were not on the radar to be in this final. Well, no, I don't. I don't uh, know uh, that that was uh, the case at all. Especially when we split into yeah. four brackets, and, and each of those four brackets after the pool play were just stacked. They were and loaded with fantastic players. But you know what? These are the guys that took out Absolutely. our doubles champions in the individual competition. Both Isaac and Caleb hurt, so they are uh, probably thankful to have taken their uh, money and run and. They're already on their way home for the first time in a long time. Not Early the last beating out of the us building. out of here. Huh? Not the last ones in the building. Yeah. I see you, Scott Birds, checking in. Kelsey Hyder. Yep. Throwing her uh, Kelsey. support uh, to Shane yeah. right there. Kelsey's partner made a good run. Tyler Goodwin earlier. Sure did. Rob yeah. Cooksey's just getting home. Wanted to. Keep you up to date. Apparently, I appreciate he has it, to Rob. check in with you to <laughs> make sure it's okay. Shane holds up. Uh, his end of the bargain here and adds to his tally 10 on 6 over TJ. 
And these guys are just very, uh, yeah. very methodically testing each other. They're not wasting any time either. I think they are tired no. and they want to. They want to wrap it up one way or another, and uh, I think Shane would like to have that one back that moved a little right to left on him in the center, and he's doing Ooh, that he more going yeah, west to east. Tie the game up right here. Yeah, he did. He put those three yeah. down. Shane's got to finish here, and he does. He does. And we got a game to 11. Yeah, we do. The championship game. You couldn't ask for any better. Takes that four, adds to it. We could be in a double dip. Si well, we are in a double dip situation here if TJ's able to jump out in front, but this is pretty much what we saw in that previous game. Shane started on fire. He hit a wall just a little bit, and then he found another gear, as we talked about, yeah. and able to put uh, TJ into the loser's bracket where he had to come back over Tyler Amos, which he did in fine fashion, 21-5, to five, just moments ago. Oh, and Shane looks like he's easing up on that bag a little bit. I saw his wife hollered earlier, throw the bag, throw Shane, the bag. like I wanted throw to tell him. Bag, yeah. I wanted to tell him, and uh, when he throws it, it's right down the center. Mm -hmm. Like that right there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's going to be a couple there. Let's yeah. move him, uh, TJ, off to the dozen. And uh, we had a game to 11, and now one only needs nine. But, again, he has to have another 21 on top of That's it. That's right. So uh, plenty of opportunity in that king seed for Shane to hold tight. Autumn by Miller must be yeah, kin to TJ. Throwing a, a little love behind TJ. We've seen a lot of Fretwell love, but a little Miller love never – Never hurt to add in there. No. And you see what I'm talking about? Shane threw that bag or two. He didn't ease up, try yeah. to throw it high. He just, he just rear back, let it go. Well, he's got a, an interesting yeah. throw. It comes in a little bit at an angle. And he kind of throws it. It, it. It's He's not whipping that wrist to spin. He, he just lets it come out natural. Yeah, just lets yeah. it go. And whatever it does, it does. But it always uh, tends to hold. And he holds up and evens it up at the, uh, at the dozen right there. But he kind of holds it. Mm -hmm. uh, perpendicular to his hand, and when yeah. it goes, it, it, it always, it almost, I bet it if you tracked up, it, yeah. it opens up, and I bet if you tracked it, it's the exact same number of rotations mm -hmm. when it hits the hits the board, and I think that's a, a consistency that has served him well, as you've talked about over the past handful of months. Yeah, he's been playing really, really well. Mm -hmm. You know, he's teamed up with Donnie Law, I mean, uh, uh, DJ, DJ Law. DJ, yeah. Yeah, as his doubles partner, and they've been making some good runs around the area where I live. Oh, we try to come uh, up and over top. And, and you know what? Shane don't mind TJ shooting mm -mm. airmail. I promise him. Oh, good no, push a right there. Really nice bag. Yeah. And we saw we saw TJ not afraid to go to his never his, ever his air airmail and oh and that right. just dripped in. TJ throwing the lucky bags. Charlie Case has like we said has had a great weekend with his players this weekend. Yep, those valors. Yeah. And uh, I think Shane's playing the character bags from. Cornhole Solutions. Yeah, I think yeah. the Cornhole Solutions, go. yep. Well, he's got them broken in. I mean, you can tell. Yeah, you can see they, they flop over in his hand, yeah, that's for way, sure. The way he works them in the hand he's getting ready to pitch with, he's got them exactly where he wants them. Nice block bag right there. TJ's going to go ahead and replace that one. Loyalties is what they're called. Is that what it there is? Go, yeah. Loyalties, okay. Nice bag, TJ. As I'm getting a little horse here tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to start calling you uh, Pony Boy. There you go. <laughs> All right. Very good. They still got a game. 13 to 12. <laughs> Pony Boy. Uh, just a little horse. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's late, brother. Hey, I'm going to Oh, right me. Now, I'm going to be thinking about that one later. It's 1237 Central, baby. I'm an Eastern I'm an Eastern Time Zone it's, kind of fella. It is 137 at your house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This bully bag right here, Shane could. Yep. Throws it right. He does a nice job there to sneak in the real estate yeah. given. Oh, what a bag right That's there. That's that by cut TJ. bag that TJ throws. Really, really nice. Oh, oh boy. Just a little bit. Lost it a little bit left. And TJ does what he needs to do there. It looked like that one could have hung up, but I think yeah. had he not had he not hit Shane's bag, he'd have left it sitting there. Had it not been where it was, so he Took advantage of the bank shot. Mm -hmm. and takes that bag, the lead back. His bags are really broken as mm -hmm. well. You can see it bending over in his hand. Yeah. And it just dripped in the hole right there, that last bag. No fourth bag blues for mm -hmm. TJ. Both of these guys look like they're throwing cooked spaghetti. Yeah. Nice bag. And now TJ's got one out of play, and he 
pulled it back in just a little bit. Right, it was the opposite way cut. Right, so Shane does what he needs yeah. to do there. He's going to force TJ, if he tries to get it, to at least put his in there. So now he's got a chance to Shane can slip in there. pick a couple up with that right to left. And, oh, oh, he does just a, a big favor. Another 12? It's all right. I don't think he's he's bummed out about that. No, because it could have been a lot worse. And they well, could have washed a whole different way, which he would have been unhappy with. First of all, he did what he had to do. Yeah. He put the bag in the hole. If yep. Shane, if uh, – TJ's went, oh well, 14 to 13. We have us a game, Finn. <laughs> yeah, we do. The question is, will we have us a second game? Yeah. And we'll find out. We're eight, point, eight points away for Shane saying oh. enough is enough. And uh, we are seven points away from TJ saying, all right, let's do That's it right. again. And TJ got one way out of play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His misses have been where he could get them most time. Yeah, and uh, that one's going to be a – yeah. A struggle to get back there. It's, that's a little bit dripped into the hole there. He should have a oh, shot at it. Oh, and a little cut right nice there. Lift. I it like a it. Nice lift on it to bring it back right to left. Oh, it was a well done there to not give Shane any uh, a little oh. juice. Oh boy, he went for that cut that time and it just missed off to the left mm -hmm. and give up two points. Well, and he he, he didn't overthink it. No, he might have underthought that. Yeah. One. Hey, I like the I like the effort though, man. Go get that thing. Mm -hmm. Sixteen to thirteen, TJ has taken a three point lead. Every point's big from this yeah. point on. Every single one yeah. of them. And, we, and it's what's so interesting the number of times that we've seen. Oh boy. Oh. And you know we saw him do that a couple of times early on, but it yeah. didn't seem to phase him in the long run. But uh, and he and he must finish, or we're going to game two. That's a good good bag right good there, bag. way to regroup. Out of the way. And TJ's going to make him put this bag in the hole. Oh, oh and it man, hangs up, it and game one That's goes to it. TJ. All right, well, I'll tell you something. Um, I don't know that, as we talked about earlier, that you would have picked both of these guys facing off against one another, but I guarantee you a lot of people picked game number two Absolutely. on this one because – that's just pretty much how this whole tournament's going. That's the way. If there's a chance for yeah. a game two, there's been a game two. We get we get them though, man. We're lucky enough to be able to call this. Absolutely. This historic, yeah. historic, the first ever, the the highest attended major ever in the ACO. All right, so now we're one and done. Whoever wins yep. the next one takes home the singles championship here in Owensboro, Kentucky. We game number one goes to. T.J. Miller, who has to uh, has to double dip, so that's where we get to one and done. We are on our last game of the night, fans. This is it. This yes, is there will one. be no more after this one. <laughs> <laughs> Till Bradenton, Florida, when that's we hook up again, right. man. That's right. That's right. So game one goes to T.J. What happens here in game two? We're about to find out. Nothing to nothing. T.J. is throwing well. Well, so is Shane, too. I mean, they're both throwing mm -hmm. really good. Yep. They just had that one mistake right there in that last round. Mm -hmm. Plays that blocker and mm -hmm. requires the... And Shane has a great air, man. Let's see if he goes up right here. He is. He's going up and over. And he a little will short. Push, a little short. Puts it off the back, but T.J. is... Uh, didn't go for the kill shot right there. He's got the he's got no. the room on the in the hole if he wanted to try to drive a stake through. Oh. Boy, but uh, that's that gonna be one, four. That's one that uh, as soon as it left his hand, he was he was on the move. He knew what he had done there. But you know what? Four on nothing right there. How about Johnny Not Thomas? Not insurmountable. He told me he is here to support his man Shane because Shane has supported him. Sure has. Yeah, man. Kenny Bolton sitting over there from Alabama also. Mm -hmm. The Alabama people, they do root for each other. Stick together. Yeah. I think it's all the A states. I think Alabama, Arkansas. Yeah. I think, uh, they all stick together? Yep. Oh, how wow. about that air mail? That's a beauty. Hey, remember when I told Let's you that bag, TJ, earlier when we had somebody lay up and I said, TJ Miller would shoot that? Mm -hmm. yep, that was the was. perfect example of it exactly right there. Right there. And uh, somebody asked who won doubles. I believe the Hurts finished the doubles off. And it doesn't surprise me as Tyler Amos had come through a 
a gauntlet, gauntlet yeah, man. He, sure and he, he was so he tired. He was gassed. Yeah, he was. I haven't heard uh, Ashley Irvin over there saying, you know, how do you know when your players are gassed? Just watch. Yeah, really. So the guys that came in with the uh, gold jerseys for the doubles championship from season 17 walk away with the purple jerseys for the doubles championship here in Owensboro, Kentucky. Who will walk away with it here in the Worlds? In the last week of July, we'll find oh, out together. Oh, that last pack has been getting changed. Yeah, it really has. It's uh, a yeah. little bit of a, and it's a little bit of a push pull. It seems like whatever, whenever he's, we're finding him missing to one side, he, the next one, if he misses yeah. in two, he overcompensates. Frame. Yeah, and I've, I can, I've been there, done that, mm -hmm. <laughs> in every facet of my life, not cornhole. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've. Yes, Dennis Lee, the doubles played while we had the technical difficulties. And the Hurts ended up winning. Nobody, still nobody has beaten the Hurts. No, they since, have not. Since they won the world championship. World championships yeah. and even uh, out in uh, the Field of Dreams uh -huh. Go the Distance Festival. Oh, and Shane's a little short, just a little bit short. And he has a great aim. Oh, and TJ gets back now. Shane can grab a couple side. right here. Oh, and he's still long. Oh, he missed that uh, opportunity right there. We got a couple in the backyard, as our boy Jay Boogie likes to say. Yeah. Amber says, come on, Shane, let that game go and get this one. Someone, yeah, somebody bid beat them in the semis today, but I'm talking about it, it, they have won every tournament they've played in. Yep. I didn't mean they'd lost a game. They they have lost, so. Ooh. All right. A little come on, come on. It came on. Oh, good push right there, Shane, to save some points. Nicely done. All right. So d reduces the uh, potential damage there. Yeah. 13 on nothing is... That was definitely damage control right it there was, by it Shane. Was. TJ Miller takes a uh, significant lead out in front here on game two, a game that he needs to win. Now, again, one and done. If somehow uh, Shane is able to turn it around here. I promise you, unless Shane moves over. that bag, TJ is going to go after that yeah, bag. No question. It may fall back on its own. Yep, oh, Shane. there it is. There it is. Stripped so, in the backside. It did. Lazy, sleepy bag. Mm -hmm. And see, Salvador that was a Dolly. different arm. Oh. oh. Went up and over and hey. thought he had it. And no. He put him. has got that chance to push it through. He oh. gets one, though. He takes one. He'll he, take he, it. Hey, you, to get to 21, you got to start yeah, somewhere. That's the most important one right there. Yeah. So 13 to one, Shane takes that first bag back. And he's got a mountain to climb, but I think he's very capable. You know what? I think he can do it in those uh, in those Crocs. I yeah, think absolutely. he can climb that mountain. Crocs is a lot of choice of players. <laughs> <laughs> and they Crocs should be out the there. Hey we, need some, we need some sponsors. How about that? How about that? Crocs <laughs> and the Hey Dudes. I think they're all the same company now, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. All right, so. Up oh, and over, boy, and he went that for was it. way it long. Just a big miss up to the top. And left TJ corner. is nice. Is dialed in. That's a, that's not fair, right there. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Oh. He's gonna take it again. He's missing left, and on that outside arm, you know, he talked about that with us in between. Yeah. He said, you know, on the inside arm, he just wasn't being able to 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 figure it out straight, right there. But uh, you're right. He's kind of he's gonna drop it and take a look. I mean, he's, he knows. he's gonna do some math right here. Is what yeah. he's gonna do. He knows what he's up against right here. And uh, he, I think if he if he shoots another airmail, he goes in at ten on four, picks up six, puts him on twenty. If my math is correct, oh, oh. all right. Well, he still gets six, I believe. He kind of he kind of. Tried to drive it super hard, and he's lucky he didn't I guess, lose that off the back. But 19 on one, I tell you, and 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 I, I just I I don't want to say I feel bad, but I feel 
what they feel. I mean, yeah, we've been absolutely. here a long day yesterday, absolutely. long day today. You just, you just know that at some point your brain just starts to say, let's call it a day, friends. It's, it's exhausting. Well, Very that, exhausting. That one's going to find its way yeah. down, down low. Shane finds himself in a – he can't make a mistake. It did. It dripped in there before he had a chance to fire. All right, he's got to go ahead and push through a chance to pick one. up a couple right here, maybe. Yeah. Push through. Good bad. I don't think TJ tries to shoot this. I think he tries to muscle it, doesn't he? You never know. Oh, he did. Oh, no. Oh, he, nice. I, he, that was, he a, that was up, well yeah. played. It was a nice bounce pass. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shane's bag says, I'm not going to let you yeah. down this time, yeah. buddy. He said, no. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, oh, wow. Shane kind of wiped his brow. <laughs> Johnny Thomas wiped his brow. Oh, I know Amber goodness. wiped her brow. <laughs> oh. T.J. Miller trying to take home. Take home the largest major ever. In the, like history of the, in the history of the ACO. history of the ACO. And we may get some larger ones, but he will be the ones, the winner of this one will, be, will be take the first. Yep, he'll be the first yep. one to take the largest the one. The 500. I don't know who has the largest one prior to this, but I'm going to guess we saw him not that long ago. That's nicely played yeah. there. Maybe a little, new little groove here being found by mm -hmm. Shane Fretwell for those who are still on board and and watching. Mark uh, Michael Smithers. I thought it said Mark Smothers. I was say Mark Smithers. Please, Mark, Mark's not up as late. I can tell you that. He went to bed after dinner at four. <laughs> With the chickens, as they say in the country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, somebody tell him oh, to wait. calm down, she says, says Amber. There you go, Shane. Mm -hmm. Boy. <laughs> TJ says, man, I'm taking this one. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> And he makes wow. Shane make the push. Who does oh, it? Yeah, he good does shot, it. Oh, what Shane. What a shot. Heck what yeah. What a shot. Applauded by TJ. Absolutely. What a shot. What a round. Yeah. That what right a round. There, that's, that's, that's a round we need to clip out. Absolutely. Save because that right there, that was balls to the wall. That's what you call cornhole right there, Absolutely. boys. Absolutely. And this late in the game, after two full days, to still have the. Uh, have the Nads to go after a, a frame like that, pretty amazing. So we'll have to remember that one, 19 on one, and clip that out and feature that. Yeah, that was something absolutely. else. Well played by both. It was nice to see Shane hit those air mouse because he has a great air mouse. He does. He just hadn't been able to dial him in in these two games. Now he's going to try to steal a couple of points, maybe right. four right That's here. The opportunity to grab him. But there it is. Oh, and he did it. He did it without that ball, that bag, dripping in off the back, which has been happening all the Absolutely. You better hurry up and grab it, though, because yeah. it, it's got its own mind. That was the very first one he grabbed when he got yeah. down there to the back side of the board. All right. So uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of adrenaline now pumping. Hopefully that's not going to be something that uh, – it 19, dislodges, you know, his concentration. That'll Nineteen right. to five, and you, you know, we've seen bigger comebacks. Oh yeah, we, we've heard them happen over oh. here on the, on the very next court over. Yep. Yeah, he's going to have some, yeah, work to uh, do, and also to oh, look boy. at TJ's. Man, yeah. his air mills are dialed in. He is, he is just relentless. All right. And this could be he's it. Gonna do it. Oh, Big win for T.J. Miller. How about that? 21 to 5. Yeah. And you know what? I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. Shane Fretwell, the first loss of the entire tournament was one game ago. Yeah. And I'll tell you something. That guy That guy was money. Absolutely. He was Nothing to hold his head uh, down. Oh, good Lord, no. Just flat out money. And uh, T.J. grabs that purple jersey. I know. I know it's, and that's the thing when you're shooting it, when you're up against an air show like that, you've got to. Uh... Good job, T.J. Miller, man. Yeah, well I'm, done. I remember the last one he won. I think was Bentonville, Arkansas, a couple years ago. Yeah. So I wasn't at that one, but yeah, I know that he, I is, was. he is always, always a gamer, and uh, we've seen him come and go and come and go. But when he comes yeah. back, he always lets people know he's back. Absolutely, that is an absolute fact. So uh, nicely done, Shane Fretwell. Amber, I know you were uh, living and dying by every single pitch there, but we wanted to make sure we got it to you. Uh, great stuff from the entire team here. I don't know if we're going to get TJ over Can here. Can we get TJ? 
you want to come on over and talk a little bit? I'll, I'll see if we're going to get a ladder and get a headset up on you and um, talk a little bit. Good cheating, my man. Good, cheating, <laughs> that my was, man. Good job. That was uh, – that was mighty fine shooting, son. How about you? And we were just talking about this. Where was it? Was it Bentonville? Was your last, uh, yeah, your last purple jersey? Yeah, I, I got to witness it, witness that one too. You remember wearing the white tennis shoes with the different color shoe strings? Pink and green. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, Lucky's top to bottom, and Lucky's top to bottom over the course of the week had a really great. I mean, they Bob Pyle takes seniors with Lucky's. You were throwing. What were you throwing Valors. the Valors? Yeah, yep. uh, Valors. right here. And uh, I tell you something. Uh, we we have seen some great shot making all weekend long. You went up against the guy who hadn't lost all weekend long, but your airmail game came back. I mean, it. I don't know how you have the gas left in the tank to do what you did. I don't know either, but I couldn't push because he was hitting everything open. So I just had to shoot it, and that's yeah. what it is. Well, Little lie where it lies. And I would tell you that when it was 19 on one, and you guys had that frame going east to west here. Airmail, 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 air and he had that big heavy push. That might have been the, one of the best frames we've seen yeah. the entire weekend. Yeah. That's just because he's a good thrower. I mean, yeah. I I made him make a push, and he made it. Yeah. yeah. Yep, you did, and that's as Phil said, he's going to make him do it. And as he was saying it, it was they were both bags were dropping in underneath the hole. Well, you know what? It's the largest major in the history of the ACO, yeah. and you Thank are the you. singles champion. So Thank you. well done, and there was nothing lucky except the bags about it. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Fire. Get Man, you some lucky bags. Huh? Get right, you some lucky right. bags. Look, and look who's still here. I know. Normally he's, he's been around in bed for six or seven Man. hours. Charlie Case, what are you kidding me? All right, and, 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 and one again, Shane Fretwell, a guy who, as you, like you said, has stepped yeah. out on his own too. Yeah. And really taking his game to another level. We saw a lot of that. And, and for a, a major to come down to a singles championship that didn't have Isaac or Caleb in it, a lot of people were asking, how do you do that? Now you know how to do it. He knows how to do it. And uh, it's going to be an interesting run to the to the world championship yeah. right here in this building. Absolutely. I'm ready for it. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, a guy we can literally and figuratively look up to, our singles champion, Owensboro Major. Again, congratulations, bud. Thank you, Finn. Nicely done. Yeah. Well you, done. Very well, proud of you, man. I good think shooting, that's brother. Pretty much what uh, we're going to get out here and get you a trophy. Let's yeah. get you a trophy presentation. Let's go out there and get those pictures, and uh, we'll send those off to uh, those ESPN. Those airmail on point, uh, brother. The BBC and make sure that the world knows exactly what happened here today. <laughs> April Clements taking care of the trophy presentation. Congratulations to TJ Miller. Came in ranked, uh, I think, came in somewhere seated in the 20s, yeah, upper 20s, absolutely. 29, I believe. He walks away number one. Outstanding and great uh, stuff from Shane Fretwell again. Didn't lose a match until he got here. Yeah. And, and you know what? And honestly, hopefully, it wasn't the delay. That uh, played in his head. I don't think he no, did. No, I don't no, think no. It did. I, I think no. I think he felt like he had the game that mm -hmm. he needed. But you just have to be. I mean, seven o'clock in the morning, the doors open. It is now one o'clock the next morning. I was here this morning yeah. when they opened too. So. And it was it was something to see all day long. The sights, the sounds, the entire thing. We brought it all to you. We hope uh, you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again. I think next we'll be in uh, Bradenton, Bradenton, Florida, Florida so for the next Pro Series. Next Pro Series and the next uh, uh, major that will be there covering for you. Thanks again to Corn Slingers Bag Company, Dylan and his crew for a great job on court one. Of course, Cannonball Clark, he got things running like a steam engine. He made it happen. Eric Heinerman behind hey. the scenes. I got more, more strings than uh, Geppetto hey. and the Puppet Master. I've got a hats off to Chris Clark. To, Clark for, and, April and, and April Clemens. Hey, Nicely well, done. Yes, 500 players yep. today. The entire crew. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's time to pack them up and get them into bed so everybody can get home and get back to work, and we'll see you again next time. Uh, on behalf of Philip Barnett, the Mississippi Ninja, I'm Finn, the Loudmouth for the ACO. More coming up real soon here on the ACO Digital Network.